vector cross product. I mean that's from the vector algebra and I mean we already defined the that product which allows you to find components. Now we're going to define what we call as the cross product and uh, that will allow you to find the moments and couples. So let's say you are given the given uh, some vector A and then you're given another vector B. So you know those two vectors and we will define a product, let's say A cross B. So that's the product we need to define and for example if I had the A vector going in that direction then we had the B vector going in that direction and this angle was theta. So the theta is the angle between vectors A and B, then this product is going to be A B sine theta. So that's the magnitude where you have the product of the magnitudes of two vectors and then you have the sine of the angle between those two vectors. And in addition to this, it's going to have a direction. And the way you find direction is you create a plane. I mean, if you have the vector A and vector B, then you create a plane which contains both vectors. It contains the vector A as well as vector B. So in this particular case, uh, so that happened to be the plane of the blackboard. So if you have those two vectors in the same plane, then we use what we call as the right hand thumb rule. To find the direction, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply this by a unit vector n. <coughs> so the magnitude for n is just one. And its, all, it's sole purpose of that vector is to find the direction for cross product. So <coughs> what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers along the first vector which is A, then you curl it towards the second vector and your thumb is going to point towards the direction for N. So in here, I mean I could draw the direction like this and this is going to be the unit vector n and <coughs> this product is a vector c or it's a new vector and that direction is going to be the vector c so again I repeat that when you have two vectors and you want to find the cross product then this here a B sine theta, that's going to give you the magnitude for the new vector which is C and this one gives you the direction, so that's your magnitude and this one is the direction and again to find the direction you will use right hand thumb roll where <coughs> you will have your fingers along the first vector then you, you, then you curl it towards the second vector and your thumb will point into the direction of the vector. So that's basically <coughs> how you find the cross product for given two vectors. Now we can have some rules. For example, the first thing you'll notice is that A cross B is not the same thing as B cross A. I mean this here has the same magnitude, this magnitude is still A B sine theta, but its direction is going to change. 
selection is going to be exactly opposite to this n or it will be something like n1 then <coughs> since we have p cross a so you'll go from b to a and your thumb is going into the plane of the blackboard or I could say that n is really negative n1 or they, are in th they have the same magnitude as 1 but they are in opposite direction so <coughs> your a cross b is going to be negative b cross a so they as I said before that they have the same magnitude but they are in opposite direction and you account for the direction by placing the negative sign then <coughs> you also have things like this that means a cross b plus c is equal to a cross b plus a cross c that means to find the two cross products you could first find the cross product and then add it or you could add the vectors first and then you could do the cross product 